The push for more child-friendly cities comes as China experiences a population challenge. The country is encouraging more people to start or expand their families. And for more on this topic, Wei Jun Jin Young joins us now from Singapore. She is a sociology professor at the National University of Singapore. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor. Thank you for having me. Well, we know that China has already been relaxing old policies and improving conditions to have more children, but it's been pretty slow to, to catch on. What more do you think can be done? Yeah, I think from the history, we know that increasing fertility rate is often a, a you know uphill battle. And uh, looking at the European countries, they have really make big investment in changing the gender role um, in the society, you know, providing um, paternity leave and then uh, a, a lot of um, affordable and um, uh, high quality daycare centers for children. And these are the must that uh, it needs to be done. So we need to know that it's not just throwing in a lot of money that would uh, certainly will help, but changing the culture of uh, gender roles, I think, is key uh, in China's context because there's research showing that um, gender wage gap is increasing. So things are harder uh, for women and there's a lot of blatant uh, gender discrimination in hiring and uh, career advancement and so on. Um, Chinese women now have a higher education than Chinese men now, in fact, and they have high aspiration um, for uh, career development. So uh, we have to reduce not only the direct cost of uh, raising a child, but also the opportunity cost of uh, raising a child. Professor, um, the, you mentioned Professor, you mentioned yeah. child care, and so that brings us to this question: What is the one thing that could change minds and turn things around immediately? Is it child care? Is it is that going to take a lot of the burden off to perhaps make some parents consider maybe we can manage one more child instead of one, two, or instead of two, three? Well, I think it's very important to realize the biggest reason for the low fertility is the delay of marriage and the decline of marriage rate. And in China, the only legal pathway to parenthood is legal marriages. Uh, births outside of wedlock is not uh, accepted even socially. And so now it's the providing the uh, situation so that uh, young people are willing to get married and are able to have the resources to get married is important. So housing costs, uh, subsidies is uh, important things that needs to be done. And uh, also there's a lot of practices about grooms need to provide a housing unit, car and a large sum of uh, bright prices. These are unique to uh, China and uh, these are bad practices that really needs to be uh, eliminated and uh, the, the right now as we know the youth unemployment rate is very high so um, the pressure economic pressure on, on young children young people to get married is very high and plus they have really high uh, uh, work hours so uh, the most important thing is to uh, release the pressure for uh, in housing uh, work hours uh, and all these economic costs for getting married. Right. And uh, once people are able to marry, then they will consider having children. And we know there are a few places in China where even that is being relaxed. Um, you mentioned all the expense to get to that point, and then you have the one child. Uh, it's so expensive to raise even one child. The cost and expenses are some of the biggest yeah. concerns. Education health care, child care, what are you hearing from families in determining whether to have more children? If they're already there, what will it take to turn things around? Yeah, so young couples are very concerned about the ability to raise a successful uh, child. So there's huge emphasis about the achievement of uh, uh, young children's education. And uh, a lot of money needs to be spent and a lot of effort needs to be spent in early childhood even to, to uh, cultivate uh, you know, young children, um, both in terms of the cost of signing up for all these different 
uh, schools enhancements and also the time and effort for the parents to uh, to be able to uh, work with child. These, this is frequently uh, a lot of the parents are concerning about the ability to raise this successful child. Uh, and of course, cost is always, uh, you know, education, housing cost is always on top of the list. All right, Professor, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us from Singapore. Thank you.